welcome, 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 folks, tonight. Nice, quiet, calm, intimate session. We're going to have Greg, the Silver Stackaholic. He's going to be live with us tonight. So, talk a little bit about the event tonight. It is Art to Part. Very cool session. Greg was given a budget by me. With that budget, he's going to make a custom mold from scratch, brand new. Then he's going to get to work on the silver. And then he's going to start pouring everything. He's going to make everything from the beginning to the end. So I'd like to welcome you all to the channel tonight. Thank you for stopping in. It's going to be very interesting to see what we got. So Greg is getting set up in his shop. We're going to bring him on shortly. So I wanted to talk a little bit about Arts Apart. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all the fun, cool YouTube things. We have a couple of big events coming up as well. We have uh, Toys for Tots, so this is a great idea. If you want to help out, if you want to donate, you can do that. We also have Secret Santa. It's going to be run by Shreky Lou, which we just had on the channel a couple of days ago. Very cool. If you also want to get something customized to your logo, to your branding, he can do that as well. The sky is the limit. Whatever your idea is, he can bring it together. I'm flattered, bro. How you doing? Greg is in the house. We are live. We are live. I'm going to bring you in shortly. I got Greg in my, in my earpiece. He's hidden. From you folks uh, he's working his special magic in the background so we're gonna bring him on shortly so I'm taking the reins till he's ready so purpose of these uh, videos for this channel it's uh, been a fun journey so far for the year I've talked about some of the precious metals that I have some of the precious metals that I've bought I've sold I've got his gifts copper silver gold a lot of cool things have come my way. I thought it'd be a really good way to show the community different things that are out there. You have your generics, you have your premium pieces, you have slab. There's so much out there. Also, I've done some interviews as well with people in the community. So kind of a get to know the community type of event. So I've had a lot of fun with this channel so far in the beginning. It's year one. I don't know how long we're going to do it, but if you keep watching, we will keep doing it. You can find me on Instagram. Information is there at the bottom. Charlie Mac, NYC, BKLYN. You can also find me on LinkedIn and all those cool social media pages. So, talk a little bit about uh, tonight's guest. Our good friend Greg. Greg was one of the first people on as well when I started doing the interview pieces and I purchased a lot of really nice items from him. On Instagram, we did something a while back uh, which he calls art to part from the beginning to the end. Kind of think of like Domino's Pizza, 30 minutes or less and your piece is done. Gave him a budget um, for right now of $150. $150, he's going to make some cool custom stuff for me. I kind of gave him some ideas of what I'd like. Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too detailed, but working out a couple of items for the holiday. So someone who gets me for Secret Santa, or if I get them for Secret Santa, you might see what you're getting already, so it's not such a secret. Uh, for those people who are joining us live, feel free to put your comments, questions, anything that you want to know in the comments, we will answer them live. 
right now Greg is going to be working on my pieces, but if you'd like something as well, you can definitely reach out to him on Instagram, Silver Stackaholic. Also has a website, silverstackaholic.com. All in all, I think he's probably done about 50 ounces worth of different items. You know, the Gremlins, the C-Mac and the Bridge, some custom dog work, and a handful of other items for me. It's probably about 50 ounces in total so far. So he's a trusted community member. He gets things out uh, very quickly, makes them look good, whether you want it really, really shiny and polished, or if you want that antique look, whatever you want, he can do. And there's another thing that we're going to talk about tonight as well as we get through. Um, maybe you kind of have an idea, but you're not sure exactly what you want or how it should look. He'll help you with that as well. Um, one of the pieces that I liked is the Irish Blessings. Basically, it was a flat, super flat stamped out piece. Had an Irish Blessing on it. You could actually throw it in your wallet. So it's a great way to display the silver pieces that you have. Great way to put sayings motivational quotes, business cards. I mean, you name it, you can mix and match your hobbies together. Um, so once again, folks, we will be having Greg, the silver stackaholic on tonight. Greg, are you live? Are you, can you hear me? Greg's in the background. He had, the camera is off, but we can hear him. It's coming on. Yeah. I'll turn the camera on. I had, I had it off. Okay. Uh, okay, just making sure we got you there. Uh, we got a couple of people in the chat. We have Boxy's Precious Metals. There is our friend, Greg. My friend. And Emma. Hey, it's a party. It is a party. What's up? Hey. How are you doing, man? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Yeah, we've got a nice, cool relaxing vibe today they got the music going too i'll turn that off i'll turn it down a little bit over to the side um how are you guys doing doing good man doing good i've been preparing i've been i've been playing around with uh the 11d design that you had sent i got cool. an idea we'll, we'll we'll talk about um got a couple of questions before we do the zappy zap as well that we got to figure out so we'll over the table over here we got to make a couple of choices i got some options for you but uh nice. yeah but we're planning to zap the wallet piece and uh i got some metal cooking and uh, we got some more metal on deck if folks want other stuff made we're gonna make some molds and do some market part sweet look yeah. forward to it um are you also live on instagram right now i am not no because i'm using okay. my phone yeah gotcha I was going to try and do mine, but my phone would need to be plugged in and charged. So I was trying to hook up both of them, but planned improperly mm -hmm. for this evening. Yeah. Uh, I'm working on a multi-camera setup. So once, once I get that dialed in, we'll, we'll, I'll, it'll be much easier on mine. <laughs> yeah. you'll, you'll need like the tripod with the camera pointing down like on the yeah, work as you go. Yeah, I'm working on a poor cam, and then I've got a, another camera I'm setting up over the bucket to so do our vacuum casting. When you dunk it in the bucket, you can actually see it erupt and all, oh, the, all the fancy cinematic angles. Yeah, all the violence <laughs> that happens in the water. Just that is exciting. my favorite part. And if I remember correctly, the proper trade term is um, quenching. The di divesting. Divesting. Okay, yeah. quenching. Yeah. I guess yeah. is like the Brooklyn term, right? Yeah. <laughs> Well, it's technically yeah, quenching. Yeah, you're, you're quenching it, but but it's it's yeah. The whole process is the quenching and the divest. Because with that one, you've got all that extra material around the part. You know, that gets baked in around it. You know, for 12, 15 hours, you got to cook all that garbage off. So that's the, you know, the divestment. Cool. You know, the investment. Nice. And I see you've got the uh, cookie monster there. Who yeah. Makes all the mm -hmm. awesome cookies. Thank you once again. I love them. I actually I didn't tell you I finished them all in one day, and uh, my dog had a, had a couple of them too. It's delicious. It was so good, so so good. We've got some new recipes. We'll throw your way. We'll see. Let's see if we can we can dazzle them. We might have to work maybe as a holiday gift. Um, maybe a silver cookie. Yeah, we can, oh, that'd be kind of fun. 
We'll be passing out ideas tonight, folks. So that's what it's all about. I, I have something in my mind, what I want for me. Um, <laughs> but there are so many ideas that this young man can put out there for you. Um, yeah. Awesome. Oh, we're going with the wide zoom lens. There we go. There we go. go. There we go. It's so right. funny. You're in you're in a t-shirt lounging and relaxing. I'm in my fire department sweater so freezing over here. It's so cold in Brooklyn today. Oh, no. It's been a, a blustery 60-something all day in California. Oh, so, man. It's so nice. great. Long walk with Randall the dog. Is he on here? He no, he's hiding. He went back inside. <laughs> yeah, the he's minute hiding. the furnace turns on and, you know, the stuff starts happening. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's gone. He's, go he's gone. <laughs> he's gone. So, um... You know, I, I kind of gave a, a quick intro before you came in. I told the people a little bit about you, some of the work that you've done for me personally. Um, you know, I was actually counting it up. You've done over 50 ounces um, at my request so far. Really? I, wow. I got a lot of stuff from you, yeah. Obviously, you know, I have a couple of my favorites, like the Brooklyn Bridge C-Mac pieces. Beautiful. I yeah. love that. I and really the, well. the Gremlins were fun. Those were pretty cool. I got one yeah, hidden actually in my kitchen. <laughs> I play don't some. Don't there's, no elf, there's no elf in the shelf, but we hide the gremlin in the house. <laughs> yeah, I got a, I got a couple more of those I'm gonna make. I've just been so occupied. So for those that want gremlin, we've got some more custom gremlins coming. So so all the unique is Gizmo. Yeah. Gizmo. Yeah, we got Rambo Gizmo coming. Rambo Gizmo. There yeah, we go. Yeah. Got the bandolier. It's very rock and roll. So. Nice. So I, I mentioned a little bit, um, you know, about what we talked about art to part. But I figure, you know, let you speak on it as well. Give a little more detailed uh, synopsis of what it is that makes up art to part. Sure. Yeah. Actually, it was it was. Uh, uh, we we're doing a live for the last year, I think it was. God, maybe pre COVID even. Might have even been pre COVID. But we're, it might have even been a year, I don't recall. But we had a live going and we just started making molds on the fly for people. And we started sharing the screen and people had ideas and started just really collaborating. It was fun, right? Because we were able to do something with someone in real time, make a mold, make a part. You know, and it's, it actually produced right there in front of you. It was pretty cool. We got some stuff in our, our video in the, in the feed, you know, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it just turned into something really fun to do. We did, I want to say, two, three of these so far, maybe two. This might be the third one, I think. Yeah. Third session. Yeah, but a lot of requests. We figured, you know, Charlie, you, you talked us into it. We're free. <laughs> We're re ready to have some fun with you. See if anybody awesome. wants to you know, make some stuff on the fly. So yeah, we'll, we're ready to do um, sand casting. Um, we'll be making molds uh, that go in the sand. So we would do the digital design work with that, turn the camera around. You know, we'd have a conversation, we'd move some stuff around and figure it all out. Um, I got metal cooking over there, so that's not a problem. I've got sand over there ready to be stomped on with a hammer. So an Emma's ready to make molds, uh, or, or a magic mold machine. So, um, and then the other piece we've done is I've, uh, we do laser engraving as well. I've prepared some small pieces that we can engrave for folks um, right here on the laser, like custom packs and little designs and stuff. It's really fun to have. Uh, they're one ounce in size. Uh, I have one I carry on my wallet, and then you can turn them into like pendants, necklaces, keychains, all kinds of things. Really easy to add a bail to, which I can do for you as well. Um, but, yeah, so we've got, got some options tonight. You know, it, it's funny because I, I kind of had um, like a budget in mind and things that like I wanted. And then as we got closer and closer to the date, literally up until we started, I'm like, hey, can you do this? Hey, I'd like that. So <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you deal with this all of the time. This is actually a question that I got for someone who is new. Maybe this is their first time ordering or requesting a custom piece. What should a customer expect when placing um, a custom order? Should they just give yeah. you their like entire idea, as much detail? Or if they're not sure, how should they approach that with you? That's actually a really good question. Um, it, it, it depends, right? Because we get projects where 
someone knows like exactly exactly what they want and expectations are just rock solid everything from like texture design size weight um even finish with but some folks come with really well drawn sketches and and i take it from there and advance it it's it's kind of across the gamut um i've had folks walk in and, and just said boy it'd be nice to have a gremlin and we kind of ran with that or yeah and um, people that come in and they have an event and they've got, you know, an idea of what they want and a theme and we'll work with them to create a piece that fits within that genre. Could be, you know, a grave piece, a Ford piece, a cast piece, you know, we do lots of different things. CC engraved on the mill over there, you know. Uh, kind of the sky's the limit, really. It's, it's It depends on, a, you know, what, really what the customer expectation is for the product itself and what that, tangible thing is it's going to be put in your hands and you know you said it earlier you know budget's a big piece right um if, if you want us to build a ferrari i'll happily build one out of silver but it's it's going to cost you a little, you know so it's, you know, it's, it's just the way it works right because it's you pay for the metal you pay for the design time the artwork uh, you know the, the consultation time all this all this stuff for the time you know you got to account for it it's not just you're not just buying a piece of metal I think it's important too. So for anybody that is interested, if you're watching us live tonight and we'll go through this and just kind of walk people through the steps. Um, I've been on both sides where I know like the St. Patrick's Day project, I was adamant like, Greg, I want this. I want it to be circular like this. And I want my bar to be like this. Um, and then like t today, I like, I have an idea. This is what I want. Greg, go for it. Um, so I think it's just kind of important for people to know to have an, a general idea of what you want. If you're not sure about the details, don't let that stop you from putting in a request because once you get one, it's like Pringles. You can't stop. Um, like I said, going through my stack, I can't, I could not believe, but in a way I could believe I've gotten more than 50 ounces of custom work done and it's all cool stuff. The, the COVID couch, the gremlins, the, uh, the COVID couch. Uh, the Viking heads. Um, oh my gosh. You know, I got some custom stuff for me for gifts for other people. Um, so when you get one, you're going to want another and then another and another. Um, one of the things, and it's actually a question that we're going to get into. So one of the items, correct me if I'm wrong, kind of like a snowflake. And that theme came to me, obviously, because of the holidays. Yeah, actually, we just finished making the mold, so go grab it off the train station. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I, the, I thought uh, about the train station. Yeah. No, grab the big one. I yeah. cured it. Yeah. Yeah, grab it. Silver is um, like snowflakes. You know, they're very different. They're all unique. Um, what do you think is a good holiday gift around this time? Um, if you wanted to get someone a silver piece, I thought of a snowflake. Hey, you know what? This would be pretty cool. Let me get a snowflake. Sweet. Um, yeah, it, it depends, right? Because I'm I'm fickle when it comes to the gift. You're probably asking the wrong guy. Because I, I like lots of different things, so I, I come up with all kinds of crazy ideas and stuff. Like you know, most of the time, a lot of the requests we get are for personalized, you know, items that have. You know, Either a name or a date or some significant something of significance maybe in someone's life, like uh, an image or you know, a, a shape or form, you know, a thing that we, we produce for them. You know, um, yeah, I do a lot of photo engraving too. And we'll take a, a piece of metal or wood or other 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 different mediums and photo engrave the image on it. But you know, that, that's something a lot of folks ask for. You, know, you got something really unique hanging on the wall really nicely. It shows well. And, and you pretty much take take something with the photograph and permanently, you know, embed it <laughs> into something you wouldn't expect it to be in. You know, we've, we've done granite too, like that. So. Cool. But, uh, yeah, it's fun. So the sky's a limit. I mean, but but again, I think mostly it's a personalized thing. You know, something with someone's name. I'm like tonight, if folks want some, we can we make um, boards that are like 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 a word for it. You know, we can take a name or a phrase or whatever and then do like a graffiti kind of four with it they're usually around two ounces or so when we're done with it we, we've got some thinner uh, material working with tonight for molds so they're not super super thick unless people want them super thick we, 
they look pretty cool when they're you know die cut and tall you know stick them on the side of their plant mm -hmm. flip. I uh, and and I just fell in love with these, but I figured let me just ask the question for those who might um, watch us now or watch us later. Um, do you do any flat or like pressed pieces of silver? Um, I know one of the things I was asking for earlier was the Batman the animated series. I'm like, you know, that that would look pretty cool on a flat piece of silver. Well, I happen to where is it? Clean up. Clean up. Right there. Yeah, so yeah, we, we make we make dies. There's there's one there, pointing die. And oh, nice. I will I will be smashing metal soon. I'm um, I'm working on it in the shop. So uh with my lasers I make dies. That's the easy part for me. I just gotta get a press that has enough squish. My my press that I have in the shop isn't isn't enough squish to do what it needs to do for the size reliefs and diameter things mm -hmm. I wanna make and bars. So I've got to go out. Unfortunately, spend a little money <laughs> and buy gotcha. a big, mean hydraulic press. And th then we can do those really cool videos where you put a ton of shit in a 200-ton press and you see what blows up in a four <laughs> and and People uh, watch. People watch those videos all day. Um, we could, yeah. I'm telling you, we could we could go places. With that. We are <laughs> it's very <laughs> soothing and relaxing for people. Just yeah. watch things get smashed. Cantaloupe. Um, yeah. Cantaloupes. Chip Ah, oh, man, bowling balls. And That's for... <laughs> uh, you know, I, I thought it'd be a good idea, too. I mean, when you get the pressed, the flat silver, you know, you can mm -hmm. do, like, a business card. A lot of people don't exchange business cards, but it's yeah. a great way, you know, you can kind of show them. You maybe, you know, put your business information on there. So it's just, you know, a cool way to kind of talk about your hobby without really talking about your hobby. Um, yeah, and they probably wouldn't lose that card too. You, yeah, exactly. You you know that's something that you're gonna keep. Probably not hand out either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, got a good question um, from Boxy's Precious Metals. What's your favorite yeah. piece of equipment to use in the shop? Oh wow. Um, I think the most versatile piece is the, my mocha laser. I got a couple of them here, but that's that's kind of the one. And to be honest, the useful tool for me is my software. You know, I, I, other people have asked me that in the past, and it's like, you know, the, the, the ability to create something from scratch or work with somebody else in a digital medium and exchange data and come up with a thing that you can produce. That's definitely the magic that you, know, you can, you can, you know, make the thing, you know what I mean? Sure. That's, that's what I do. So, awesome. That, that you can't live without the you know, mm -hmm. software. So a uh, question that I know already, and some people may know, but um, do you do any laser engraving? And I, I asked this question because I'm a big fan of that white frosting. I just, to me, that style, that look is just beautiful on silver. Yeah, kind of like it. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Well, you can actually do it with, with the type of laser that I have. I can, I can do, you won't do it tonight. You're not going to put me on the spot. But I can do all kinds of different things. Because what, what that's actually doing is it's anodized. So I can do color. Nice. Color. Yeah. Color <laughs> laser engraving? Yeah. Oh, dude, that's it's sweet. Cool. I definitely want the Batman in color then. <laughs> <laughs> working on it. I'm, I'm working on it. Yeah, I that like yeah. black and red, maybe white frosting on there. See, you know, once you tell me, now I know exactly what I want to do. <laughs> yeah, we're working on stainless steel and... and uh, you know, different alloys, things like that. So I now, got it clean a little bit. I'll get it. I'm close. Now, Greg, if you see though. if you see me kind of jumping and hiding, I'm not trying to hide from you. I actually <laughs> I was able to get a quick charge in there, so I can go live on Instagram as well, oh, so cool. people can also tune in and check us out. Um, so hi Instagram, hi YouTube. Look at all of us, all of us on our fancy devices. Uh -huh. So yeah, so then here, here's another shot of this one. So this is that guy you asked me to make. And we can we can try to make one of these out of sand that it's not been tried yet. So this will be a virgin attempt. It's an intricate piece too. It's going to be interesting to pour because there's lots of places where air can get captured. So it's going to be a fun little challenge. So, so yeah. that, 
so depending you know on um how many i can secure and then the sizing of all that yeah. that might actually be a secret santa gift to somebody depends on on what i've got going on but i thought it'd be pretty cool you know keeping stuff in the community supporting each other you know people who make stuff i was like you know what a snowflake would be pretty cool let's go with that yeah you know what we could do too is if, if it's a secret santa thing we can engrave there's a flat spot on the back a little area but we can maybe put a little bit of text maybe put the date you know from charlie mac or something like that cool yeah, yeah we'll figure it out this side yeah, absolutely uh, I've got a couple more people tuning in. Once again, for those who are just jumping in now or watching later, make sure you go to his website, silverstackaholic.com. Follow him on Instagram. Is Instagram the faster way to get in touch with you? Yeah, it really is. It really okay. is. So we, we've got, I've got, a, you've got some questions. I've got some questions rather for you. Can you see my file here? Yes. All right, okay. folks. So here we go. Let's take a so, nice look at the work. So we've got some planchettes, right? These are all one ounce a piece before they get zapped. And I got four of those that I made up. Okay. I also have, where are you? These are over here. I also have this little guy, which I figured we could use for that Batman symbol if you wanted. Okay. A little, a little fractional. Um, and then I also have the plate here that we can use for the wallet piece. But I don't know if we want to use this or use one of these. Ooh, that is a tough you know decision. I, mean? um, I, I, I think this would look better and it's got some thickness to it too. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's stronger. It's not going to bend and you know what I mean? I, I did not even think about that. So, you know, we'll have a little fun tonight, folks, at, at my expense on, on my dollar. We'll let the community, the people that are in here now, help us make some decisions. So let me get some uh, feedback from the folks in the chat. Should we go with the planchette type of piece or the flat, thin? Now, this will be, this will be cut square. This will be squared off. Don't saw it off. And then there's a part B to the what i what i kind of want to do you still there yep Bam. yep i got you greg i get i can see i can hear you yep i got you can you see and hear me greg is coming in and out oh we've lost greg now he's back he's in and he's out you're um i can see you i think we uh lost connection let's see so folks we have uh the chat overlay so as you guys type i'd like for you to help us make a choice on the really really thin flat piece of silver or the little planchette types so we've got a couple of people in the chat like to see what you guys think shrekki says the flat streamlined look okay i've got a i've got a minor problem a technical glitch on my end uh oh what happened uh, somebody called me, and then the audio clip. So your your my audio is coming over the earpiece, but it won't come over the uh, um, the speaker on the phone, speakerphone. Okay. So I can't hear you. Uh, okay. Hang on one sec. Okay, I can hear you perfectly. I'm grabbing an earbud to solve this. No problem. So once again, folks, like I said, tonight is nice, a nice, calm creation night. So what we're doing tonight is called art to part basically we're creating a mold from scratch think of domino's pizza you get your piece in like 30 minutes so if you want something custom uh reach out to silver stackaholic put your notes in here uh we'll help create something from scratch should i reconnect yeah all right i'll Got reconnect you. actually great can you hear me 
I can hear you, but it's 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 only when I hold it up to the side of my head I turn the uh, gotcha. camera off. Okay. So far, we've got clean flat bars. We've got planchette. We've got um, streamlined look. This is tough. We got an even amount of people in here. Yeah, keep keep me uh, blacked out. Here's the other question: You can already turn if you want. I want to hammer it so I can give it a texture, and then laser through the texture. If you know what I mean? Um, let's ask the people. What do you guys yeah. think? Laser through. I'm pretty sure they're going to say yes, but let's see. I would think, right? I think right. it'll look pretty sexy. So then when we antique it, you know, all that texture will come out like a tortoise shell kind of look, maybe. And then the deeper areas where we engrave will be, you know, blackened out. It's a good idea. So if that's the case, we just have to pick which planchette you want, and I'll get to tap it. So what I can right. do is I'll turn the camera around. I'm asking the folks to help us make these very difficult big decisions. Yeah. Is it? Is big tough decisions. Yeah. it it's so funny because I'm trying to type with like one hand and it's just not working. Um, folks, we're going to need your help with these decisions tonight. So we, I think the planchette was the choice that everybody preferred. The one answer? All right. For the one answer. Um, it was kind of like 50, 50 between like the flat thin piece. Uh, but I think the planchette beat that out. What do you think? A uh, hammer through or laser through folks? Let's put that in there. Hammer through or laser through. Got a couple of technical difficulties. He's working on it on his end. So this is called art to part. Um, it was great in the beginning of COVID. Um, basically, it would start from scratch, 30 minutes or less, give or take. You know, he would have the mold ready, we get the silver ready and start pouring. You know, there's some things that obviously will take a little more time. But think about the holidays coming up. You know, we've got Secret Santa. So if you want to make something to give, it's got reasonable prices. Also, if you kind of want to make something and keep it for yourself, you can do that as well. Um, so lots of options, right? Tonight, I gave him a budget. I'm going to let you guys help make these difficult choices. I knew in my head what I wanted to make, um, but I figured let's have a little fun. You know what? Let's bring the community in to make these pieces because um, one of them might be up on Secret Santa. There is Greg. Welcome back. Yeah, sorry about that, guys. So, huh? so the part B of the question is, which planchette do you want? Oh, which plan? Right? One, two, three, or four. I'm going to make the executive decision on this one. The top left, number two. Top right. I'm sorry. Top right. This one. Okay. That. Yeah. All right. All right. Stand by. Hey, I'm going to do a favor. I'm going to hold the camera down so they can watch because with this one, you got to. You got to point it like that. Yeah, I see. Why don't you go over here? So cool. So first thing we're going to do, watch the side buttons. I think Boxy really? wants to get a hold of your hammer and just start hammering stuff. I mean, trust me, this is my favorite part. So I'm thinking I want to laser that side. Yeah. So I'm thinking... And uh, for those folks who are on Instagram, thank you for jumping in. A little easier if you guys come up to YouTube. I've got the information posted up live. You can see it right there. Bang it, baby. Bang it. Yeah, Look at him knocking that stuff out. Bang, 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 bang. He was my downstairs neighbor. Go fucking nuts. Folks that are on Instagram. 
Instagram, pop in to YouTube. All right, cool. All right, let's take her over to the laser. Very nice. So, Greg, for the most part, you are a one-stop shop. I mean, you can do laser engraving, you can do pouring, you can do engraving on leather. You pretty much do it all, right? Yep. Yeah, we, I do partner with, with folks when I, I get over my head, you know? Got it. But, uh, yeah, we, we pride ourselves in doing, I want to say, 98% of the work in-house. I seem to get stuck when I have to do really, really complex modeling and stuff. I gotta call in the cavalry. I gotta call in friends. Okay, so why don't you fill it up here, babe? So, first thing we need to know is what was the text we were doing on this beautiful piece of paper? The text on there. Yeah, the, that, the that's a good question. Um... <laughs> Minor details. <laughs> Minor details. Mm. I got to double check my notes now. Too funny. Um, I was so focused on the snowflake. So let me come up with some good uh, text. I think I sent it to you so I can just pull up my notes as we go through it. Uh, so we are going to look for holiday blessings. Mm -hmm. Unless the uh, folks who are watching want to have something else written on there. <laughs> well, if anybody needs a paperweight, no. that's for sale. <laughs> nice. Is that an upper or a lower? <laughs> the lower the paperweight, the nine millimeter. But uh, gotcha. it's got uh, this really cool laser engraving, 3D engraving that I did within the, the Magwell. Our Roman, Our Roman soldier. Yeah. All right. Enter text here. Enter text here. So you know what? Let's do a fun one. Um, Actually, I have my Irish blessings, so I'm looking for Christmas blessings. Uh, folks, what type, what do you think we should put on the bar? What should it say? I'm putting, I'm putting everyone, everyone on the spot now. <laughs> 70 by 34. So, you know, maybe we put something funny, you know, a turkey never voted for an early Christmas. <laughs> there you go. Um, all right. So the text, what I was thinking, probably have to be a little bit smaller, but let me type it in here too. Good times. Good friends. Good health. To you and the luck of the in all that you do. Good times, good friends, good health to you, and the luck of the Irish in all that you do. I think that'd be good for for what we got going on here. Paris, hello, hello. Good times, so, good good friends, good health to you, and the luck of the Irish in all that you do. That is yeah? correct. Good times, right. good friends, good health to you, and the luck of the Irish in all that you do. Okay, now here's 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 the interesting question. Okay. What what are you feeling today? Give me a word that that, that helps define what you're feeling today. Oh, definitely joyful. I had a uh, very, 
very uh, good evening last night. I um, am proud to say I am now an owner of a Carson City Morgan dollar. Hey! Oh, wow! Congrats, man. Can't wait to get that in the mail. <laughs> My first Carson City. Pretty nice. I did not know the price range uh, that these go to, so uh, lucked out pretty well. So, folks to, uh, who are just tuning in, because I see, I think everybody's coming from Instagram here now. Um, I do a lot of Charlie chats. I do interviews with the community members. Tonight, what we're doing is called Art to Part. Art to Part with Greg Silver Stackaholic. We're getting some custom things made up and different pieces of silver. So, if you want something for yourself, he can help you out. Um, or if you want to get something and have a nice little gift to give away for the holidays, Maybe to a friend, a family member. Uh, he can do it all. Whatever you can think of, he'll make it happen. It's called art to part. Think of like dominoes. You know, you get your pizza in, you know, 30 minutes or less. So here's, here's the here's the big question. This is this is where we get into uh I want to say the the nuts and bolts of it. I like to call it font hell. Oh um, yeah. That's what I was asking you what you're feeling. Because I've got some fonts, you said joy, right? So I've got some fonts that are kind of, you know, square and concise. I've got some real funky stuff. Uh, this one's kind of pretty. This one I use. I, a lot. I like. Um, oh man, I gotta pull them up because I usually save them. Typically, the Celtic style. Stand by. So, like. folks, we're going to have a couple of different items made up. Um, one of them is going to be a pretty cool snowflake. I thought that would be a really good gift idea. Um, no, that's not, that's not, not it. it. I hate fonts. See here. Font, yeah, I remember you actually, I think, gave me the website. <laughs> You're like, here, Charlie, go check out the font. Go find it, yeah. Well, didn't you give me one at that point, and did we like it? And do you remember what it was called? Yes. Because I, I still uh, have it. I believe it's Irish Unki, U-N-C-I, or Celtic Hand, or Bieber Bread. That's another good one. Monday Brunch, Lucky Charm. Like, those are... Those are the ones I remember because I actually saved them. I'm going to switch up that tune for a minute. What? Well, uh, that's not it. No. no. Def Definitely not. <laughs> mm. well, I don't know what's in here. Uh, what about freehand? You think freehand would look cool? No. That looks like light bright. That, yeah. <laughs> Wow. You're in the light, right? <laughs> Folks, let me get your opinions as well. Um, I am not the end all, say all for this evening. So this is kind of like a com fun community project. <laughs> um, getting some yeah. input for everybody. That's what kind of font do you think we should use? Um, would love to know. Throw them in the chat. Um, this is one of the important things, too. If you're getting something custom made, the fonts take a long time to go through. These look good. These, I, I use this a lot. That's nice. This I like one, that one. This one's kind of fun, though. I like that. That's. Let's see here. Now, are you able to add like a little shamrock uh, in the top corners? I see you how you down? are. I see how you are. Yeah, of course. Yeah. I like it. I like it. <laughs> no, I don't think I like the better before. Huh? Like, I think it would be a good time to get friends and good health in one line. In one line? Okay. Good times, good friends, good health to you. I it's going to be really small. Of the of the Irish and all that you do. Uh, That's why I wanted yeah. to keep it. What we don't want to do, we'll make it a, a three millimeter font. Do that. So like compile. Should be within the lines now. We'll put it in there, the dip. There we go. And then. 
Ooh. Ah, look at Gambit. Gambit knows the four shamrocks. Gambit knows it's like those four shamrocks are the four horsemen of the apocalypse. <laughs> Ooh, now we can look at it together. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. All right, so first things first. And let me know if you can see everything okay, because I can't see what's going on because uh, it's pointing the, the camera in the other direction. I'm just gotcha. hoping I'm pointing at something. <laughs> okay, so first thing we're going to do. Should I change direction? Yeah, why don't you go over here and point that way. There you go. Very nice. Hmm. Now we gotta pull out the calculator and do some mathematics. Now this is the fun fun part everybody with all of these tough decisions. Love the feedback. Okay, so that's not. Yeah, it's too good. Was that zapping at? No, no, no. Yeah. What we're doing is we're we're sizing. We're getting our outline to place our part. Kind of um, I hope, and I just got to make sure, you know, being the safety guy, you guys are wearing your safety goggles. Oh, sure. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. No OSHA. No OSHA. Yeah. Oh, no OSHA. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shreky um, Lou, what's up, buddy? This <laughs> one right now is not the Secret Santa. This is actually just something that I wanted to throw in my wallet. You know, just kind of something to have as a everyday kind of carry piece. Just something cool to show off. <laughs> the surprise yeah. Secret Santa was uh, shown already. The cast, not the actual piece. Uh, pretty cool snowflake. No, other way. Yeah, like that. Stop. Stop. There we go. All right. Now... So yeah, folks, think about the holidays coming up. If you don't know what to get, you're like, oh, you know what? I don't want to give another eagle or I don't want to get, um, you know, a maple or, or just a generic round. This is a great way to create something unique, something special. It's a piece of art. So you've got silver, you've got art, you've got customization. It's a great way to go for the holidays. Secret Santa is coming up. Cool gift idea for Secret Santa. Let's see if that works. I'm playing around with the replacement. No, nope, almost. Um, and for those who just tuned in, uh, did an yeah. interview with Shreky Lou. We talked about Secret Santa and the deadlines that we're trying to hit. December first. Um, then he's going to give out all of the names and information. Now, Greg, do you do um, gift cards? Like, let's say somebody was interested, but they didn't want to create something, but they wanted to give a gift. Do you do gift cards or something like that or store credit? I, yeah, I can certainly do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, folks have an idea and they want to, you know, book, book some credit and, and uh, get, get in the queue. Absolutely. Yeah. Got it. There we go. That's yeah, better. Now that we can make good. it bigger. I want you to show what we're doing up here. You can see. So what I've been doing is, is playing with the size of the, of the placement of the text so I can fill the space a little better and make the Got text it. bigger. Okay, there Got we go. So this, is, this is the outline of the bar, right? And then that's where the text will fall in it. And now it's going to, now I figure we can put, um, you know, I guess uh, 
a shamrock there and a shamrock there in those two holes. Uh, where exactly again? Can you see? Uh, yeah. Here and here? Yeah, I think that would actually be perfect. Perfect All spots. Right. Now we got to find a shamrock. Let's go ask Google. Shamrocks are very easy to find because they're three-sided. Four-leaf clovers, that's a different story. One of my friends actually found a four-leaf clover. Really? He has it, uh, like, oh. into his wallet. Can we do this oh, one? Did he save it in wax paper? Yeah, he did. Very Can cool. we do this one, the round one? And yeah, then what I'll do is I'll cut that deep, and then the white part will be uh, the silver unmolested. You know what I mean? I'll cut that, that away. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, stand by. We're on the same page on that one. So, uh, like I said, folks, this is fun because it becomes intimate. It's something that you take time to work with someone to create. You know, if you don't have the tools or the materials, Greg's a great guy to go to. You really make something that can be your own or something that you're giving a gift. There's my 11 Bravo one. Yeah, I got a... Bang, bang. Get leather. Where did it go? <laughs> Did I save it? Wait, I'm an idiot. That's what I did. Um, yeah. Save image as desktop. Shamrock. Yes. That's well, a nice shamrock. So we got three different ones to choose from, actually. That's kind of cool. Can you see them? Yeah. I... I'm thinking the one in the middle. Yeah, I'm saying, or... yeah, middle. Middle. Or this, this one's kind of interesting, though, because the black area is what would be cut, cut back. That might actually look the best. The, the one, one on the, the left or the right? This one. this one. Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. All right, we'll use that one. definitely something different i'm pretty sure we've all seen the middle and the left one before the right i haven't seen on too many designs Now, Greg, if someone was interested um, in kind of working with you on creating a design, uh, what do you think the typical time frame is? Like, should they set aside like half an hour or an hour just to kind of go over details and it, pictures? It, and honestly, it, it just depends on the complexity. You know, it, it, it really just depends on, on uh, uh, you know, like right now we're, we're, we're just riffing, you know, so it's just, it's just time. So... Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, you're right, because 3D sculpts are going to be a little okay. different than well, like what we're doing, right? Pardon? Um, I'm, I'm saying 3D sculpts are going to be very different time-wise oh, to yeah. what like we're doing. Very yeah, much, definitely. Very much so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so we got a good question from Paris Vance. I'm going to pin this up for a second. And um, this is something maybe we should have thought about a little bit earlier. Paris wants to know if I gave you a logo... Could you still get it done before Christmas and ship to him? Depends. Uh, good chance of it, yes. I'd say we should talk tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Paris, the yeah. short answer is uh, most likely yes. As long as you kind of have an idea of like what you want. Kind of think of it like this. Um, help him help you. Give Greg as much detail um, to what you want, style. For me, it's easy to say, yeah, because I'm not doing the work. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you are. But, yeah. Um, yeah, Paris, to be honest with you, I've gotten stuff turned around pretty quickly most of the time. There have been 
a handful of times where um, I've kind of pressured him and just kept saying, hey, 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 I need this, I need this, I need this. <laughs> yep. Yep. And sometimes you got to do that with him. You know, it mm -hmm. depends, on, depends on the project, you know. Ooh, that looks pretty. Look at that. I, that I like cool? that. That's a so nice here's shamrock, question. One or One or two. Do we leave it balanced for just one? Do we want to put one on either side? I would say both sides, I, I okay. think. I think my OCD would go crazy if it's only on one side and not the other. But uh, Paris, yeah, let, let us know in the chat. What are you thinking, bro? What what would you want to envision your work being like? Do you want something on a bar, on a round? Um, oh, I forget what you call it now, Greg. Um, die cut? Oh, yeah, we do die. We're, with your pattern, we're going to do that die cut tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So where we that's where we take you've seen stickers where there's a general shape and the outline of the sticker is the uh, uh, border of the artwork. And I do that with pieces where the instead of having it be a traditional circle or, you know, you know, square or, or rectangle, it's actually the shape of, of the border. It's like this would be, you know, the border of the shamrock. That would be the shape of the, the pour if I were to do that. Shape. But here's yeah. this. This is our one chance to check for spelling errors. Oh. So, good times, good friends, F R I E. I spelled it right. Yes, we did. Uh, good, good heel to you. And the, that L looks suspiciously like another letter due to the font, but I'm going to let it go. Um, and the luck of the Irish and all that you do. That looks right. Yes. All right. So, first things first. Let's see this. We go. I want you to go back down there. We're going to do a little test where we're going to do run the outline. And then we'll run um, just a red. Oh, that would be so red if you can color in that shamrock. I'm going to go get my crayons in a. When I get them, I'm gonna color them in. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line up our rectangle again. So, so Greg, too, I guess another uh, good question, just in general, so people know, uh, you do antique them. I know that you do antique work on them. I know some Correct. people do like that artificial toning. There's a couple of people that I've seen that will do like dragon scales and they'll make them like purplish or greenish. Do you do that as well? I can. Yeah, I can. I can do the, the, the that's a liver of sulfur. It's what you use. Liver of sulfur. Yes. Yeah, that's I, can, what I can also, also do it through an electronic bath. I've got a, a, a set up here where I can take a probe and dial in a a certain frequency a voltage router and that'll be attenuated to a specific color which is kind of neat i'm playing around with that too so let's see here cool. let's make this cut okay boom bit let's say bit okay okay so we're going to see the outline go twice we'll see our letters go just with the guide beam so we can kind of get an idea of where it's going to be that's what the letters will be. Oh, nice. Looks like it fits. So that works. Okay. All right, I think we're good to go. We are going to zap these out. So with the dialing in of colors, are you able to get something like a um, red or maroon type of tint? Yes. We might have to make some Santas, man. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I have to master it. I have I haven't mastered it yet. It's a problem. So. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm ready. Let's do this. I'm gonna make this big screen so people will see this one. Yeah, and then this, this the whole process. Now that we've done the artwork, I mean, we say art depart in 30 minutes. That's for the pores. We've been working on the laser. So this this whole piece, once we get it going. It's going to take a little bit to zap. We can, uh, while this is going, turn our attention to creating the other mold because the metal's ready to pour. 
and we can get that guy cracking too. But here's here goes this. This is the best part. Oh, I love this. You see it okay? Yeah. Right. And we don't bump the table in it. Nobody sneeze. Go, but first go, we'll pick an outline and then it's gonna blast through the uh here it's in the center area between the line. There you go. Cool. So cool. This is the best part. Zappy zap. And here's the thing, though, I kind of, I kind of want to make this point out here. Is that no? He says no. Right. <laughs> hey, I never said no. So are we going with the mold next for the snowflake? Is that what we are going to do? Yeah, the mold. I'm actually taking care of that right now. Cool. I think with that one, might look cool, really shiny and polished, depending on how it comes out. I agree. Yeah. And here's here's what I was thinking. So if don't don't move. Yeah. Um. So on this is the 11B. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, that looks perfect. Yeah, die, so I figured. Cut. Yeah, well, die cut. So the red line is the outline. What I think I'm going to do is, is make the the cut area a little uh, bigger within the shape. So let's do that real quick. You know, nice. Yeah. Cool. So, and kind of explain that too, just so so people understand too on. Um, the die cut process because i know that was kind of new to me and I, I really didn't understand that in the beginning yeah so what we do is again a traditional shape would have this being a circle or you know a rectangle around the whole shape what i do is i make the part basically the shape of the design so what we're going to do is emma's going to make me a mold real quick of this design and then i'm going to take it over to the sand cast table we'll you know get it inside some sand and pour some silver in it. Um, now's the time we should also uh, ask the folks if they want anything made, because when I'm making one, I, I make a couple in the same flask. If anybody wants something made up, then now's the time to kind of kind of step up and ask. Perfect timing. Throw that up into the chat. Um, I know Paris said he was interested in maybe getting something custom. Um, turn this back around again. Yes. All the goodies, all the toys, all the hammers, stamps, all the cool stuff. Are you using the one I showed you in the right the material? Yeah. Perfect. And I got a question for you. Do you want do you want one that's kind of bigger that you can up one? Do you have one of those bases with the LEDs? Um I do. I don't know like the thickness of it though. I do. I make I make them. So. Uh is that for the eleven B piece or? Yeah. Um How it's big okay. are you thinking? You're not gonna hurt my feelings if you say no. No, I'm just trying to think of because I have the um like the piece obviously with like the logo that it's in it. So mm -hmm. if I took that out, you mean just keep like the piece of silver in there instead? Oh, that's kind of neat. Yeah, you know, let me grab it just so I understand what we're talking about.
Wait, when should I send it? Uh, so you're talking about um, this piece here, right? Yes, correct. And the silver would stand here instead of the plate? No, no, what I'm saying is that I can make you one of those acrylic with that pattern. You can stick it in that film base and upload it from the yeah. Oh, you mean you can make one of these guys? Yeah, it's unlikely. Uh, yeah, that'd be pretty cool. So what I found out too, actually, is um, the there's a the coming in. There's kind of nice. That's looking nice. And then I was making a mold real quick. Did anybody else? Oh, that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, those are pretty. So this, for some reason, though. I'm not sure of the actual material. Like a lot of pieces, kind of like rubbed off, or I just think like the detail, maybe the picture wasn't the best. Uh, it didn't come out as great as I thought it was going to come out on mine. Yeah, it, it depends on how you set up your laser. Yeah. So. I guess it also depends on the picture as well, right? Like the actual yeah, photo. Yeah, it goes back to the artwork. It's what's so important because. Earlier you are asking, you know, it's like, how, how prepared should you be? What's what's the engagement like? Like, especially for photo engraving stuff, you know, it, it when someone gives, gives me a photo and it's not already prepared, it takes time, you know, to clean it and tweak it and make it, you know, what I call lazy ready. And uh, you, you, you got to mess with it a bit, you know, to get it tuned right. So it, it's difficult to work with uh, acrylic, you know, for, for photo stuff. Is it over? It also has to be like compressed too, right? The pictures has to be like the. Let's no, see. no, no. The, the magic of Photoshop and, and other software, you you tweak the contrast and the gamma and all that stuff. Yeah, that that's just the way it was cut into the acrylic. Yeah. So like the one thing yeah. I, I, I mean I like it. The only thing I didn't like it's it just easily like moves left and right and it falls out. <laughs> Yeah, it should be a three-eighths color. Yeah, but I, I make those for folks too. You, but I get, you get the bases and you cut the little inserts and stuff. It's kind of fun. You can pop those out and put in different inserts and stuff. They're fun to do at like uh, uh, restaurants where they have a little to work from the table. So yeah, like you can kind of see it here. Like, you know, if I'm holding it, it, it'll just yeah. fall out like it did there. You're not supposed to be juggling it, you know. It's... <laughs> well, no, even when it, like, just, you know, if it sits on the table, it, like, leans back. Ooh. I thought it would be, like, lock in place kind of, like, yeah, a little it's, bit. It's just the thickness of the acrylic that it shows it. Yeah. Yeah, because there is there is a thickness that will, you know, lock in. Hey, Randall. Randall showed up with me. Hey, hey, Randall, buddy. Let's see, Randall. There's Randall. What's up, buddy? Yeah. You're so happy. Hey, buddy. Good job, bud. All right. So, is it, is it cutting? Is it done? I don't know. Probably done already. <laughs> so, this is a fun part where you just get, you know, all of your pieces prepped for the next job, right? Go ahead. I'm sorry. This is where you normally prep all of the pieces. Like if you're doing multiples, you're doing them. Yeah. Yeah, because we'd be doing more than one usually. So. Yeah, see, and mm. even with like my remote, it doesn't swap out to the proper color. And it's got blue. Ah. <laughs> I th think it only does like red, green, and blue. Oh, really? I got, I got one that is... I got on, this is a wish. It does like a million colors, a little LED for the remote. You can, yeah, I'll, I'll get to it. Yeah. Yeah, I said, like, you know, the person in the community got me one. That, you know, I liked it. Um, I just feel like I'm going to break this one very easily. A little tape in there, you know, bolster it up. You can, you can Mac it, you can fix it. True. I said, like, the colors are awesome. Like, it'll just...
fade through each one little by little. Oh, there you go. So, this did its first path. That's how it came out. Oh, let's take a closer look at that. Nice. We're going to go ahead and we'll hit it one more time. And I'll give it the old frost. Emma, let me go, let me go check the mold over here. Oh, all right. Very nice. I know, so exciting. I don't see the most exciting guy you've had on in your life. <laughs> you're on the machine, make a noise, fans going, and I just sit here. <laughs> No union breaks, the thing just does what it needs to do. I'm gonna put this away because I do not do not want to break it. <laughs> so again, if anybody else is interested, I've got three more planchettes we can zap. Oh, and Emma's wearing one of our new earrings. Hey Emma, for a minute. She's gonna show off our new earrings. Are you, I was going to say, are you also doing um, jewelry like rings and earrings? You see that? Yeah. Our, wow. It's, a, it's our 420 flip. 420 flip. See? Oh, that's a cool piece. So it says yeah. 420 when you flip it up. And it hangs really well. It's got good weight to it. It's not too heavy. I was kind of concerned when he said, shove this in your ear. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how I roll. So we've got a couple more of those we're setting up. Um, I've also got, if folks uh, are uh, Glock owners and you have a Glock mag, I make base plates out of silver. Here's one of the first ones we did. If you send me your mag, I'll go ahead and fit it on there for you. Adds uh, 1.87 ounces to your base. Helps recoil stability. That is a, yeah, those are nice. So take a look at our mold. We got our metal over here. It's plenty ready. Let's take a look in the hole. This is the part where I drop. Oh, look at that beautifulness. Oh, the magic. Yes. The magic of melting. We got a bunch on deck over here. So we can scooby up if we want. Oh, I heard a thud. That would be your mold, good yeah, sir. Woohoo! So Shreky Lou is thinking of getting a piece made up. He wants a Shrek piece. Okay. Yeah, gotta, gotta make him Shrek. In a in a tooty kind of cartoony kind of thing, or Shreky, what are you thinking about? Three D sculpture, two D. If it's if it's tonight, definitely wouldn't be able to do a three D sculpture. That takes a lot of work, model. I know that. Yeah, I, gotta, well, I can do it. I just gotta print out the model and make all the other stuff. Checking out your mold here. I would say that probably gonna turn out. Folks, I will mm. tell you, definitely splurge. Get one custom piece for yourself. Whether it's a 3D sculpture, a flat piece you could put in your wallet. You know what I kind of want to do with this thing? I want to, I want to pour it, but then I want to laser engrave the pattern on it instead of having it be the same. We'll try. We'll see if it takes. Because the lines are really, really fine at this size, but at 50 millimeter. If it doesn't come out in the sand, I'll zap it on there and it'll be really crisp. 
But we got a pattern. Let's let's pour a pattern. Yay! Yeah, we got a snowflake. Let's make it snow, baby. Shrekie says, you know, he's thinking of he's thinking of Shrek, but he's going to leave that in the hands of the artist. He's giving you a Shreky Lou challenge. So what do you do? You just go down to like, you know, to the local playground and grab some sand out of the sandbox and, you know, you yeah, start making your yeah. stuff? You just gotta sift out all the kitty litter. That's important. You know, the, the local animals need their presence and stuff. But it adds really nice minerals to the sand, which really helps the casting process. Good. Now, when you're done, can you reuse that sand, or is that like totally done? Hey, I'm reusing it right now. Ah. I'm clearing out some plastic. I had some stuff in them before. Ah. I'm gonna zoom in on you so they can see the good fun work that you do. Here's, a, here's something that used to be something. <laughs> oh, that broke off pretty easy. Oh yeah. yeah it's a special sand too. It's a stuff called gelt clay, and it's clay that's impregnated with different minerals to make it. Have this texture where it pretty much holds everything down to a fingerprint as far as detail. Now, I do have a serious question though, because I know you were actually one of like the first guests that I had on. Um, you know, we kind of talked about you know getting into this hobby. Mm -hmm. uh, seri serious question. You know, if someone was interested in getting into this hobby who didn't have the skill set or knowledge, and they decided that. They could use, um, let's just say, Play-Doh or some other type of clay. Would that be a bad idea? Well, here's a funny bit, right? I've, I've been watching a lot of different videos of people experiment with the mediums. I've seen people use different types of different foams, um, different casting materials, all kinds of different stuff. The problem you're going to have is the temperature of the metal. You know, mm -hmm. It's got to be something that isn't going to... You know, combust to be able to hold the form and let, let the product set up. You don't have time to pull. So there's only a a, you know, a handful of things that I can afford to put in my shop to yep. do that. But uh, I, I, I mean, if you're starting out, I mean, honestly, the I I'm one of those goofballs that that went in and, and learned sand and and I had I had been doing other things already, but not specifically pouring metal. So. I got into sand casting and uh, graphite and then all the 3D modeling kind of almost all at once, you know, but if you're starting graphite, it's a really good way to go because it teaches you a lot. It teaches you all, a lot about temps and, and really that's that's one of the most important things in playing with this stuff, you know, having the right core temp, having the right mold, the right temp, you know, throw out the right temp. Bruce Wolf right tank and all these all these things are important. And uh, when you play with graphite, it forces you to have to learn certain key key basic skills and screw up a lot to learn a lot. You know? <laughs> I, and, and and it's yeah. Amazing because you know, I, I have a good friend of mine who just started getting into this and, and he loves it. He loves, you know, creating stuff and he's always telling me, you know, um I'm, I'm gonna make this with uh bismuth. I'm like, all right, go right ahead, my friend. And yep. then I ask him five minutes later, what's bismuth? <laughs> you know, yeah. is that like this quick, you know? So I always tell people, you know, it, it's fun. It's, it's a cool thing to do, but definitely do your research. I don't want anybody, you know, burning their house down or their garage mm -hmm. down. Uh, just the because they see, see yeah, something. Yeah, you grab the, the other yeah, you know. Uh, make yeah. sure you have safety equipment as well, gloves, eye protection, fire extinguisher. Yeah, make, make sure you're wearing the stuff I'm not wearing right now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my apron's over there. I'm wearing shorts. My spats are somewhere else. Yeah. 
all that stuff. But you have been burned enough to live through the experience of what to do yeah. and not to do. Dude, I, I learned a very valuable lesson in uh, uh, thermal expansion. And when you take something really cold and put it in something really hot, what happens? Yeah. I had a piece, I put it in the first wall. I was, I was talking to somebody on, on the phone, you know, doing a video, not paying attention. I had hot stuff in the crucible and a remnant of a pretty good amount of fluid metal in there. And I threw a sprue in, you know, a good three four out sprue that was really temperature. That sucker popped out, shot over my shoulder and missed my head. Uh, which is, oh my gosh. And, and I sat there thinking, that was close. Let's not do that again. Yeah, you know, so, yeah. Definitely don't want things to be a projectile either. Um, and yeah. I think a handful of us have probably seen videos where we see people recording overhead. They drop something in and the silver shooting right back up into their face, yeah. eyes, nose. Yeah. So, you know, very important. So it's always good to practice. It makes perfect, but get a little knowledge before you get started. Yeah. I mean, talk to somebody. Find, find people in the community like what I've done. I've ran side saddle with different folks, you know, while they were pouring, and they just shared a video with me, you know, to help them out. So, a lot of folks will do that pouring with you. And don't, don't pour inside in your, your apartment, your house, or the carpet, and, you know, tank of gas. Yeah, you know, goofy stuff like that. You know. mm -hmm. I've seen that too. Okay. Small apartment may not be the best setup, um, especially if you have a, an electric furnace. It might blow out the fuses, depending on where you live. That'd be fun. Yeah, well, you'd be able to see because you'd have this giant glowing crucible. You know, <laughs> that'll be your nightlight. Get you around. Yeah. yeah, the glowing embers of your building. <laughs> the landlord and the insurance companies would love you after that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. Folks, I'm so excited. So excited to get to make some custom stuff. Have you all help out. I'd love your feedback. We're doing a couple of different things. Throw some comments in there. Let me know what you'd like to see. Got my 11 bang bang coming up next it's pretty bland it's just you know the 11b and the two guns maybe we'll add something in there let me know throw some in comments let me see what you'd like to see as we watch greg do his work the, out in the wild <laughs> out in the wild we watch greg yeah, and if you say that and there's randall staring at me, like, <laughs> me man. i'm sitting in the garage completely ignoring you know here it comes I'm talking, I'm talking about him so he's walking up. He knows. Of course he is. man's being ignored. So, in the easy bake oven, that thing is going. Now, what's the typical cost on like that type of sand? Is that something that's expensive? Is it inexpensive? Well, there's two different kinds. There's a, there's a Petra bottom, which is a, a lesser cost one. And then there's Delta Play, which is what this stuff is. Um, I haven't bought it in a while because I, I have been pretty good at reusing it and rejuvenating it. Um, mm -hmm. So, I mean, but you can go on like Amazon. You've got kit where you can buy a glass. I think they give you like a five pound. Uh, in, the, you know, in the sand and, and there you go. So, I mean, it, it's not hard to get enough material to be dangerous. You know what I mean? It's so funny because, like, we hear the banging, and I'm like, Greg, keep it down so we can hear you talk. Like, you have to bang to do what we're trying to do. <laughs> exactly. If I didn't bang, none of this would be. He bangs, he bangs. Oh, baby, when he moves, he moves. And he's actually a moron as well, just for the record. <laughs> what I did is I, I did some, I did a real rookie move because I'm talking to you. So in, instead of 
packing that's halfway in and out of the mold. It's completely flush. So I can either attempt to pull it out at the goof or just quickly yeah, redo it right. Good. Yeah, but then the edges will break. No, they won't. I have faith in you. What do you what do you what do you think, folks? Let me know in the comments. Should you just rip that thing out? Oh, don't worry, your magic tape. Oh, oh wait, what is those tiny things? Or everybody in the uh, chat, call him a rookie. Rookie move. Where is the super tape? Wait, I think I'm right. Didn't Oh, look at that. So here's the impression. Oh. Damn, that's sexy. That came out good. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fill that sucker up. Now, here's the thing. I'm thinking when we do an open pour, we'll just fill it up and see how much it is. I'm thinking it's probably going to be two, maybe just shy of two. What do you think? I, was probably, I think that's actually going to be less than two. Let's go fill the hole. Let's go see. Fill the hole. Yeah, well, you got to turn this thing around again. So I guess yeah. that's got to be somewhat of one of the harder parts, just kind of guesstimating how much silver you need on that. Well, yes and no. Um, I can, if you know the volume of the hole, then it's very easy to figure out. But we didn't. So. Meh. Meh. All right, here we go. Can you see this area okay? Yeah. All right. Oh, this is the best part. Everybody watch. Watch what he does. Watch him. Look at him now. Look at him. Poor baby poor. Nice and slow. Fill the hole. Oh, this is about it. I think we got it. Yep. Yeah, it's going to be heavy if it puckered up. Do you want it? Do you want lines or no lines? Quick. No lines. Too late. Stop. Yeah, too, no late lines too slow. Today. No lines. I know some people are very particular. They like their poor lines. There, no lines. Man. Gotcha. It's like the never ending birthday candle. Wow. Ah. Now the real question, the real question is, did did the pattern break? Yes. I don't know. It was really, really good. It's not a quick hit, but it is not it in there. All right. Oh, here we go. The moment of truth. Is that tongue? I'll say, yeah, it looks pretty hot still. Really hot when your hand touches the, the box of the crucible. You ready? Yeah. I'd say that worked pretty well. Yep. That came out nice. Now we give it a little bath. We have to cool it down. That came out nice. Yeah, really good. And then that, what we'll do when we peek it. All the low spots in that will be black and they'll kind of polish off the high the high area for the we'll have the contact. If, if there's That's any concept. any way possible to make the number eleven and the letter B darker, that would be awesome. If oh, not sure. no biggie. Oh that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, actually I'm gonna fill those in so they're black. And then these lines here will be black. Yeah. That came Good. out nice. So that's actually a 3D cut. See, the stock has concrete to it. Yeah. yeah. 
So that's, that's one. Notes. Here's our die cut. Let's take a look at what we made today. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta do our frost. <clears throat> Alright, let's ready. So this, we put the cloth on. Great. Yeah. That is so cool how that does that. We're going to do, uh, it'll be two passes to clear it out. Keep them in the table, then. Don't let random I mean, bump it's, table. it's crazy. It's like whatever you can think of it can be done work-wise you know something with like white frosting make the uh the shamrocks green or something like that or to you know tint them out it's just crazy yep. like you you there's no limit to what you can do yeah they came out really nice good font choice very good oh that's amazing Thank anyway you. zoom in on that a little bit How's that? Oh, yeah, that is cool. There you go, we're done. Sweet. Look at that pretty cool. What is that? That, that is yeah. sweet. I like yeah. that. That, yeah, that so came out that. really good. You know, there's going to be a lot of infantry guys that'll probably want that as well. That's That's a nice design. That's so, so cool. Well, if, if nobody else wants anything for it, I'm going to turn off the oven over there. That thing's just a fire hazard waiting to happen. Yeah, that's a smart idea for now. The uh, snowflake you'll take care of later? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, the snowflake has, like, additional stuff going on with it, right? Yep. Yeah. I'll make yeah. a couple of them in post. Now, folks, just so you know, what we have going on, too, is there's a special snowflake that we're making for the holidays. So it's a nice piece. Yeah. It's going to be, like, crystallized. It's going to be looking um, very unique, very seasonal for the holiday. Really, really cool stuff. Really cool. If it comes out good, you might see a lot more of them for sale. So, Greg, you got it right there for show? All right, she's grabbing it. She's grabbing yeah. it. So, folks, check out this snowflake. Would, who would like, who would like to have one of these? Um, and the way that you set it up too, it could be hung on the tree, right? You got the the placeholder for the hook. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that on there. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Listen, you know, for fun, if you got a small chain, you could wear it around, you know, for the holidays. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. So, folks, you know, that, that this one is kind of a secret, what, what, what we're doing. You know, we just wanted to show the template off. We'll show you the final product once we are done. But the snowflake is going to be a very hot item for the holidays. You should definitely reach out to Greg and get yourself one or two. One for yourself. One is a gift. Totally worth the money. What am I doing with my van of white action? Oh, can I buy a vowel? Snowflake. <laughs> what do you think that's going to be? Like three ounces, four ounces on that one? You know, I, I think it's going to be about 2.7. That's my guess. 2.7? Yeah. It's but funny because like the way that you hold it, it looks larger, but it doesn't look that thick. It's not. That's the thing. Yeah, it's it's not thick at all. It's only uh, uh, four millimeters. In the gotcha. So, yeah. This is going to be a fun one to pour too, because there's so many edges and points and little valleys that uh, really have to flow. Yeah, it's going That's to be cool. Funny. That one I'm not doing live. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that one is going to take a little while. May have to, to remelt. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is G-rated, right? You don't, you don't want to yes. 
Ah, uh, you know, like PG thirteen, lower R. Yeah. Um, I, I know that one is going to be a little more detailed yeah. with work. Yeah. That might, might be all for the for the Silver Stackaholic workshop tonight. We got, Not a uh, Yeah, we got the two pieces made. I'll get them antiqued up and post some pictures. People see the finished product. Get them, get them off there. And again, folks, you have anything you need made before Christmas, give me a holler. Our books are open. We're taking orders. Um, yep. And if, if we get it in, I want to say within the next week, there's a really good chance you'll get it before Christmas. Um, if not, it's going to be tough. We've got, we've got other stuff I'm working on. So, but yeah, hit me, hit me this week for sure. Awesome. Folks, don't forget, check out his website. Save it on your computer. Save it on your phone. Silver Stackaholic. Um, and for those who watch this later on, um, you know, we're on YouTube. Obviously, that's where we're keeping the video. But check him out on Instagram. Greg is Silver Stackaholic. Whatever you think of, he can make it happen. But very important. Mm -hmm got to get something out there you got to get them your ideas as quickly as possible um i want to thank everybody for tuning in this evening enema randall this is high he won't stop leaning on me over here yeah. <laughs> he's like he's like you've been in the garage too long you've been ignoring me it's it's kind of it's time for the belly rub you see it's sunday night we, we have a thing it's Sunday night belly rubs. Um, night, eating into Sunday night belly rub time, which you know, is, is a dog on You know what I'm talking about. Vic, Vicky's the same way. She's laying down like, yo, what are you doing? Where's my belly rubs? What's going on? Come on. <laughs> Rolled over going, hey, hey, I'm over here. I'm over here, buddy. Yeah, right That's what he's been doing. <laughs> cool. Greg, thank you so much. Emma, it was good seeing you. Appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. And if you're interested, make sure you go check them out. Silver Stackaholic on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Folks, have a good night. Good night.